I've never seen it. Court. Where oh, when you yeah. know you're guilty, you just like become feeble and yeah, like I'm surprised he didn't around. have a fucking neck brace on. Yeah, yeah. Like he shows up to court for sexually assaulting people with a he's like neck brace. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A dog cone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Baby. God, that'd be so funny. He, why are they on his wrists too? <laughs> it's just two little What's dog happening? cones, like very frilly Shakespearean clothing, but yeah. it's firm. Oh man! Remember when Hannibal took down Cosby? All right, what do you say? <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> the one time comedy actually was effective. Yeah. At something. <laughs> the one time. <laughs> Someone said a thing. Everyone already knew. And then knew. what I love too is that when that kind of helped Hannibal blow up mm-hmm. all these other comics were like I've been saying that for years it's the same thing with homegirl Ariel Elias having a beer thrown at her and yes people mm. have been assaulted since the mm-hmm. dawn of time but everyone else like I wish I would recorded that I had a beer thrown at me and it's like okay well I guess <laughs> yeah. you also didn't chug it so like it, I, I've been wearing Chappelle's onesie merch on stage for decades <laughs> and he does it once on Netflix and all of a sudden I look like an idiot yeah. and it like it's, ha- it's Halloween all the time yeah just because I have the blackface on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> they didn't know Jimmy Fallon wore blackface. This was started this whole conversation. Jimmy Fallon wore blackface on SNL in 2000. Oh, did and you post that clip? I posted that clip. That was shocking. It's, I did not realize that was. Oh, it yeah. was so hard to find that clip on the internet it's, because it's, I bet. It, NBC is yes, like yeah. scrub city with yeah. that. Yeah. Everywhere you go to click on it, it's like this has been removed for copyright. It's like I could watch Chevy Chase yell at an intern, <laughs> but you guys scrubbed this. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chris Rock even went on his show and was like, you don't do a good impression of me. Like during an interview one time. I'm like, well, clearly he knows about it. It was like the year after he left SNL. Like, I wish we had a... And Tracy Morgan's in the sketch, which is very funny. Like, that he could, like, (laughs) clearly be the person playing Chris Rock. I almost feel like Tracy was like, no, you do it. He knew that that would be like... He's like, he knows that how this will hold up. Oh, yeah. He's he's wild. He's not dumb. It was like 6D chess knowing 30 Rock was going to happen. Where he was like, okay, put the blackface on because this will be hilarious. In a show, which I think they did blackface in that show on Fable God. Probably. Upset of, like you. Everything Tina Fey touches, blackface. It's really, <laughs> that's it's, crazy. It's literally true. Oh my god, that's true. That movie where she was in the Middle East uh, as a, a reporter and she was wearing blackface for some reason in the Iraq War. Uh, Lindsay Lohan couldn't even tell all the Mean yeah. Girls. That wasn't Tim Meadows. That was Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I. Uh, wow, that is wild to think about. The Thirty Rock thing has me thinking about physical media. Mm-hmm. Because that episode is gone from the it, oh, yeah. streams. Yeah. Oh. It's not. The same with I've, I haven't seen It's Always Sunny, but they have an episode. And it's. I have to imagine It's Always Sunny takes it on in the same way that, like, uh, um, Tropic Thunder does, right? Sure, sure. Yeah. And when they're making fun of yeah. doing that. Like, could than... you believe this person would do mm-hmm. this? And But that's been scrubbed too. So that stuff's all gone. And I'm a. If you don't own the DVD, you're never going to see that. Mad Men is even doing the same thing. And it's literally like. A, it's it's Roger Sterling. It's mm-hmm. like a probably bigoted guy in the early '60s, mm-hmm. and they're just they scrub. You gotta own stuff. If you buy stuff, it's buy it on it, iTunes. You don't own it. Yeah. If you all this, I don't want to be a champion of physical media now, but <laughs> you should be buying stuff. If you buy a movie on iTunes, like if you own Thirty Rock, right? You pay like eighty bucks or whatever. Oh. They took that episode from you. You don't have it anymore, oh. even though you bought it, not rent yeah. it anything not streaming it you'd have to bootleg it you have to bootleg yourself. it or buy the actual dvd yeah. it, actually if you have the dvds this is crazy tim cook comes to your house and <laughs> scratches that part of the dvd <laughs> so you can't watch it anymore they do a tiny little scratch he has a really long pinky <laughs> nail but it's all this stuff you own you don't own anything that you own anymore i don't know my takeaway from all of this is i've got to do blackface myself so that i can launch my own career mm-hmm. and then i can just go back and scrub the blackface right i mean if you, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly that's how you get the uh paint off yeah, exactly. if you want to run for office in canada i think it helps give you a boost that guy yeah okay. the <laughs> prime Listen. minister of canada okay yeah but he has abs fuck you he does have abs. <laughs> is he still the prime minister didn't he just win again I think so. is it yeah, still sure. canada it, not sure now canada still has the queen on their money are they going to print the new king on their money they, yeah, that's the stupidest country they're pulling all the money move the, they're pulling all the money they're doing well, they're, a turn like in like guns out, like when when we do new dollar yeah. bills and stuff so as some stuff get all of the new stuff from here on out it's going to have the king it gets, on it yeah which psychotically now i'm trying to i'm like i asked my friend in london i'm like can you save me like 20 pounds <laughs> 
Get a fucking life, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, not you, not you. But really, like. <laughs> but also, wow, Lisa. <laughs> um, Are you okay? <laughs> it's I insane. Survive. Canada needs to move the fuck on. Put Trudeau and the blackface on your money. <laughs> That's the answer. In That's the, the answer. Put them on coins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I just, you're putting, you, you're, I get maybe the queen because she was a queen for like 450 years. See, my thing is like I have, I like to collect money from where I've traveled mm -hmm. and I've gone to London a handful of times. So I'm like, I'll be back. I don't need the paper mm -hmm. cash, yeah. whatever. Sure. And now I'm like, no, I need it. I have some some <laughs> some though. Canadian money, and it's nice to say that London. I get maybe even keeping your fake fucking queen and king on there. Canada, you are not that. <laughs> some of you, we have to do your fake French speaking. Relax <laughs> with that. Two or three cities, you got to speak French yeah. as an idiot. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest of you. Come on, what are you doing? Put <laughs> Justin Bieber on it. Literally anyone. Jim Carrey. There's a lot Pamela of good Canadians. Anderson. Yeah. Pam Anderson. Oh my God, I would love money with Pam Anderson on that it. That would be great. It, the, the value of it would go up. Yeah. It <laughs> definitely <laughs> would. Canadian dollar. Just it like definitely would. double the US would. dollar. <laughs> She's done more for that country than the Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Okay. Yeah. The well, cast of Schitt's Creek. Listen, we have options. Yeah, There's every so comedian. John people. Candy. Yeah. Listen, oh, look, the Queen's dead. I, if I'm breaking <laughs> this to you guys and you're listening, I looked into the camera to say, I'm who breaks it to someone. <laughs> this episode I've never seen it five weeks after it happened. I'm binging things in a weird order. I'm going to get to the news tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to get Okay, I so are we, is this, go, are we okay? We've been going for a while. Okay, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, Don't. I'm not going to send it to an ad break after that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I will record a real intro to the show on my okay. own. So okay. you know. uh, but we'll do this. We'll, we'll do it now. This has never seen it. <laughs> uh, I'm your host, Kyle Ayers. This is the podcast where comedians rewrite famous movies they've never seen before. Today, having never seen Drive, Lisa Curry mm -hmm. is here. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I have to admit... I did write. I didn't look over this after. <laughs> oh, that is okay. <laughs> but uh, also, all I knew of Drive, yes. literally all I knew of Drive, was the poster. Mm. So I, I did cheat and look up on IMDb just to see a couple of character That's names. That's okay. Because I was like, well, I, I Was I it need disappointing those. when you saw how the names, like <laughs> Ryan Gosling's character name in Drive? I think is drive man or something. No, it's, it's driver. So oh, I, sorry. I wrote him. <laughs> so I wrote him. As yes, such. Um, he is yeah. driver. He he actually is. It's weird. He's in the Mickey Mouse Club and then he played Mini Driver. Folks, we're having a good time. Where's the? Um, <laughs> to feel free to take instrument kits. Uh, yeah. yeah so I, I had no idea. So that's all you knew was the little bit, and that's fine. That's yeah. Not, this guy I dated a while ago who wasn't. He kind of sucked. Uh, it was his favorite movie. So then after that, what? I was like, I'm not watching. This is all adding up, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, during the pandemic, I added 140 farts to the movie Drive, <laughs> and I did a thing called Fart House Cinema online, where we all watched Drive, and everyone had to guess how many farts I added, because it's a very quiet movie. I love that. That's what you did with your time. Uh, yeah. That, sadly, that's what I did with a day. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so I added all these farts to drive, and because it's the perfect, there's uh, no one talks in this movie. It's like very quiet. Oh, and well, this is I. There's actually this is a different. This is these are outtakes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I, I think we're more talkative. I have seen the movie probably seven or eight times just from adding farts. Um, I don't remember the last time I saw it raw, which is what I call no farts. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought you meant like with your dick out, just because. <laughs> no, no, that's what I, I do during the fart. One. I know so many men that like jerk off to this movie. Sure, what? I think this Love movie has also so uh, spawned uh, the most aggressively lazy Halloween costume. Oh yeah, which is just oh, yeah. buying a, a a jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well let's let's do the script. Never seen Drive. We got the copies mm -hmm. here. Everyone wants to grab one. I grabbed one page. <laughs> that's a oh, good. Okay, so that's a good start. <laughs> so there's three characters and then uh, stage directions. Okay. So what would you like me to? You do? can do the stage directions, then cast the rest however you'd like. Okay. Why don't you be, um, just for the sake of uh, good radio, uh, Bailey? You can be Irene, and okay. um, you be driver. Let's and fucking go. <laughs> you're your driver and Shannon, who oh. is a man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right. Are we ready? Like, I hope there's no mistakes in here because I didn't. This ready. <laughs> mistakes. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> there's more dialogue in this than the movie. 
that's really funny because I was writing so much stage directions. I was like, shit, I need to make sure there's more dialogue in here. Um, that's really <laughs> funny. Um, they did consult. I did. Who wrote it? They asked me to write this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote this thing I wrote. <laughs> okay, are we doing it? Yeah, okay. whenever you're ready. <clears throat> Interior car night. We open with a close-up on Driver, played by Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I don't know why I put that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like in the original s- script. We this really is hope how it starts. We yeah. really hope he signs on because I already exported this PDF. <laughs> Early, early 30s, hot, but in a non-threatening way. He's wearing leather driving gloves and a satin jacket. We see hints of a nice car in the background. It looks clean and has leather seats. Pull out to reveal he's in a busted up 19 <laughs> <laughs> 1996 Mercury Tracer. <laughs> he's sitting in bumper to bumper traffic outside of the Hollywood Bowl in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> the Cars song, Drive, plays. If you're listening at home, just go ahead and throw that song on. <laughs> I would do it, but we get flagged for copyright a lot. Like a lot of our episodes get flagged for copyright, so I can't really? do it. This one's pretty close to the movie, so you might. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As we hear the lyric, who's going to drive you home tonight, he gets a notification on his phone. It's an Uber ride request from a beautiful blonde brunette named Irene. <laughs> Oh, hello, Irene. He checks himself out and talks to himself in the mirror. Good evening, Irene. No. Hello, Irene. Uh, How was the concert? (laughs) The The back door of the car opens before he can catch himself. I really like concerts. Irene stands outside the car, poking her head inside. What's that? Irene! Yeah, that's me. Irene climbs into the back seat of the car. She slides in behind the driver. Shannon, 40s, ruggedly handsome, a man's man, gets in the back seat with her. <laughs> oh, excuse, excuse me, sir. <laughs> this ride is for Irene. Oh, it's okay. He's with me. Oh, is he your husband? <laughs> Irene and Shannon don't hear the drive. Don't hear driver. Sorry, not the driver. driver. Capital D. <laughs> <laughs> They're already making out and pawing at each other. How was the concert? Irene and Shannon ignore him. I've been there several (laughs) times myself. (laughs) They continue to ignore him. I'm actually a musician myself. (laughs) (laughs) Irene and Shannon stop making out and look up, confused. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hold on. What's that? (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, I said, um, I said, do you do you want to take Mulholland? See the stars? (laughs) dealer's choice just get us home bud (laughs) forgot i was shannon driver starts up the treacherously windy laurel canyon or windy sorry windy um it's both (laughs) (laughs) and spelled the same (laughs) english is sweet it's my second language (laughs) after being mute (laughs) he thrashes the car around corners trying to untangle irene and shannon who are now passionately (laughs) kissing (laughs) it doesn't work he pulls up to the light at Lookout Mountain Avenue and jerks the wheel hard onto the next winding road. Whoa, buddy. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the fucking Autobahn. <laughs> it's fine. I'm a stunt driver. Well, you're not filming a born movie. You're driving us home in a Tercel. <laughs> it's a tracer, actually. <laughs> Whatever, man. Just get us home. Please? <laughs> <laughs> Driver's face lights up. He and Irene make eye contact in the rearview mirror. She returns the smile. Shannon grabs at her again. Driver, desperate to keep them separated, interrupts. Where do you f- where are you from? <laughs> if if I'm from where we're going, if we ever get there. Driver is embarrassed but persists. And you, Irene? Uh, Oklahoma. Good <laughs> good people in Oklahoma. <laughs> Nicest people in the country, all from the Midwest. Irene smiles politely. You know, I went to Oklahoma once. Uh, <laughs> what what brought you to a- L.A.? Shannon rolls his eyes. Driver catches this and holds in his anger. I'm an actress. Driver and Irene, <laughs> again, driver is his name. Driver and Irene <laughs> lock eyes in the rearview mirror. He's lost in her eyes, not paying attention to the road. Hmm. I would have thought you were a model. Shannon rolls his eyes harder. Okay, pal. 
Driver is still not paying attention to the road. He's smiling and daydreaming. Suddenly, he veers off the road on a corner. The car's right two tires skidding in the dirt on the shoulder, inches away from the edge of the mountain. Irene screams. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! What the fuck? You're going to get us killed! Pull over! It, it's fine. I got it. I said pull over! <laughs> now! I can't. I have to complete the ride! <laughs> Driver continues driving, now more slowly, but only for Irene's sake. The fuck you do? You're letting us out now! Now! <clears throat> Off the look in Irene's eyes, Driver reluctantly pulls over, defeated. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Defeated. The car is still coming to a stop when Shannon opens the door and begins to get out. Come on, Irene, before this son of a bitch gets us both killed. I don't want to walk down Mulholland. It doesn't feel safe. A fucking rickshaw would be safer than this. Cars fly by as they argue in the car on the side of the road. It really does look dangerous. Shannon, please, it's pitch black out. We could get hit by a car. Shannon speaks to her sternly through gritted teeth. It's fine. Get out now. It really doesn't feel safe. What if he promises to slow down? Man, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll slow down, I promise. Let me get you home. Irene looks at Shannon with pleading eyes. You want to ride home with this psycho? Fine. You die on your own. I'm walking home. Shannon, please! I'll see you back at the house. Shannon slams the door shut. A piece of the body of the car falls onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Driver hides his smile as Shannon marches ahead down the dark and winding road. I'm, I'm so sorry about all that. I promise to get you home safe. Thank you. I'm sorry he yelled. <laughs> Driver checks for passing cars over his shoulder and slowly pulls back out onto the road. Shannon is now about 200 feet ahead of them. Irene looks down, texting, close up on Driver's face as he gets a crazed look in his eyes. Close up on his leather driving gloves as he grips the wheel hard with both hands. Close up on his foot as it presses down on the pedal. Close up on the front bumper <laughs> as he peels into the road, hitting the gas with all he's got. Driver speeds ahead, quickly picking up speed when, bam, he hits <laughs> Shannon, sending his body flying into the air and tumbling through the brush down the side of the mountain. Irene screams. Driver laughs, laughs maniacally. Camera cuts from the scream to the laugh, the scream to the laugh, <laughs> then to an aerial shot of Shannon's body. Bloody, lifeless body on the side of the mountain. As the camera zooms in to show just how dead he is, we begin to hear the line from the car song. Drive. Who's going to drive you home tonight? Fade yes. to black. <laughs> That's the impression I got from the poster. So. No, that was pretty much it. Yeah, I think it's pretty much it. Pretty I think accurate. you pretty much got it there. <laughs> Poor Brian Cranston. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not it. No. <laughs> this kind of feels like the vibe oh, yeah. mm -hmm. of the Drive soundtrack, actually. Oh, it does. Have either, yeah, You know what I mean? You've seen it, right, Bailey? It's kind of like, yeah. it's sort of like... Uh, um, all right, I'll at least turn this down so YouTube doesn't hear it. The <laughs> Drive soundtrack is uh, actually great. And yeah, it's very it much like good. sort of like slow, trancey. It's like the best part of the movie, probably, um, that yeah. and the color scheme. I would say, and I mean I mean this in a sincere way, that is probably the closest anyone's ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> I think everything you wrote in there happens aside from it being an Uber. But uh, literally, I believe at the m almost every other detail happens in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I <am. laughs> I've literally only seen the poster. That's it. I had to go. If this imagine if that earlier. poster yeah. moved. Yeah. <laughs> I, and you can't see the rest of the car in the poster. You just see. Wow, you really yeah. read it for filth. That is. Yeah, you did. Humiliating for drive. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there weren't as many farts as I remember, but I think other than that, yeah. you pretty much got it. I, I, I actually, like, it's a nice song. It's good. All right, I should, yeah. it's good. Well, this episode's not going to be able to be on the internet. Uh, <laughs> um, all of our old ones are getting flagged just because I play, uh, you know, a Disney song all the way through or something. Sure, yeah. yeah, I think, I don't, you know, it's hard to remember what happens in Drive because it's just kind of him going around. He gets caught up with some money, and it's kind of the, have you seen No Country for Old Men? Oh, yeah. Long it's time ago. It's kind of like that cat and mouse sort of mm -hmm. thing, but none of them are as competent as anyone in that movie, sure. even the old Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, and then, you know, he drives. The It is the weirdest part of the movie Drive is there's no traffic at any point <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> like, he literally picks a guy up. Like, he drives down to a so Clippers in, game like, and Montana? just pulls into, what? like, the garage at oh, the Clippers yeah. game in the opening, and you're like, 
do people hate the How? Clippers that fucking much? <laughs> yeah. There's no traffic at the game, like down at the end of a yeah, Clippers game. That make any the sense. game's like ending, and he's just driving around. <laughs> yeah. you, you you figure, but no. there's not really any traffic. Doesn't make any sense. I guess a lot of it happens at 2 a.m. Um, you know, Ryan Gosling's Ryan Gosling. Mm-hmm, so true. Brutish, and you, he's one of these people that is so attractive that if he was my driver and I'm a bad guy, mm-hmm. if I got in his car, I'd be like, you should be a fucking actor. <laughs> You're so yeah. good looking. Yeah. You should oh, not so be doing looking. and driving this. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't believe he's any of the roles he's ever played because I'd be like, You're too good looking <laughs> to own a notebook. <laughs> I just don't know. You what you're oh, that right. movie. Some people are, you, Nicholas Sparks. Some people so are rude. just uh too <laughs> hot to like play yeah. anyone other than like you're famous for being hot yeah. yeah well that's like val kilmer's whole that was his whole complaint did you see the do- uh, now i'm really getting sidetracked did you guys see the documentary val it's no i didn't breaking no. it's really good but he i didn't realize he went to um juilliard really yeah and he's like it, part of his th- part of the movie was he was like you know my biggest regret is i didn't get to like uh not have cancer but uh <laughs> he didn't get to play one of my life. biggest regrets <laughs> was not not having cancer. <laughs> but uh, but uh, he wanted to play like more serious roles and he kept getting cast as like the hot at like. Oh, after Top Gun and stuff and all sort of surrounding that. I didn't that. even see Top Gun until like a year ago. Yeah. I'm like, Tombstone was it for me. That tiny little yeah. mustache, get mm. it. He mm-hmm. is so hot. He's hot. I just watched <laughs> Top Gun this year as well, thinking I would go see the new one and then I never yeah. did. Yeah. Um, and you watch, I've talked about on this podcast, Top Gun's about being gay, I think. Right. Oh yeah, that tracks. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That it's sense. like Tom Cruise like figuring it out. Yeah. And he doesn't know which way to go, and yeah, one yeah. lover dies. It's like uh-huh. not even. It, I don't think Tom Cruise knows that, or he wouldn't have done the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think he can read all the pages. It's an at allegory once. for him being in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just nice to do an episode that'll get flagged for multiple reasons, <laughs> and none of them being SNL blackface yeah. at the beginning. Listen, there's still time. Uh- <laughs> oh, there is still time. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I feel pretty. What are we looking at? Are we, are we good for a break here? Yeah, All right. We're going to go ahead and take a break. We'll be right back. I'm going to take a drink real quick. That's so funny. That is actually the most accurate one we've ever done. That is it's really fucking funny. And I I've really done like 210. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I just was thinking back to horrible Uber rides I had. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, nobody's died in them yet, but this is pretty close. There would be nothing more Los Angeles than getting in an Uber and a guy's in a, like, $700 satin ja- jacket with a scorpion on the back <laughs> and, like, fingerless that. gloves. And it's like, yeah. is this guy really going to give me a screenplay? Yeah. Like, at the end of this ride? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want this guy to know where I live. <laughs> that is, I mean, that's a real concern. Truly. When uh, you're driving home to, or actually, or being picked up. Any, yeah. Anywhere, it's like, oh, you know, this is my home. Right. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Uber's yeah. fine. Uber might be the worst company. Oh, it is. I, yeah, they're I, evil. What was uh uh? I listened to the Dollop, mm-hmm. with Gareth mm-hmm. Reynolds podcast about Uber, and they're talking about Uber, and there's like these like uh, uh exe- like these Silicon Valley angel investors who are you know the worst people, but they also don't want attention. They just want to be rich, mm-hmm. like quiet mm-hmm. rich, and they all said Uber's old CEO was the worst person they'd ever met. Like, all of the worst wow. people you know were like, that's the guy I don't want to be in a room with because he's a psycho. And you're like, but you would, like, you like kill people for money. And like, yeah, but that guy's unbearable to be around. <laughs> that's insane. Because he just was, like, spying on everybody. He would find celebrities taking Uber and just follow their location. He just had a big spy. Anyways, it's safe now, though. Dear getting getting a random car with someone you never met. <laughs> I as I switched to Uber exclusively recently, and I hate Uber, but yeah. Lyft charged me for a bunch of rides I didn't take. What? It was like I was out of the country, and it wasn't – It wasn't my credit card wasn't stolen. It was through Lyft, and they were like, no, you took these rides. And I was like, <laughs> I wasn't even in the country. Who would know they better than not you, you where you were? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just like uh, – it was so fucked up, and like I did request one ride right when I got back into the country from the from the airport mm-hmm. but the driver canceled it and on my screen it says driver canceled it still would say that if i still had the app and they were like no you canceled I'm like no it's a- anyway it They're was really like a dispute yeah. it ended up being like 80 dollars worth of rides and whatever so <laughs> after there's really no that, good way to do any of that no, they just no. sort of like are one of those companies that shows up 
ruins a com- an industry completely mm-hmm. and then in the wreckage is like well now we're, you have to take us now yeah. we're the one that <laughs> that remains yeah um i drove lyft for a little while Me and too. i was, was just horrible. like yeah I, it was yeah. terrible you made no money i would like and then i was always worried that people were worried taking their you know it's like mm. very discon i, I never oh, want to drive at night because people like feel weird creeped and, out yeah. Yeah. Or like drunk bitches screaming in the car. I'm like, yeah. I can't. I'd rather be in the car with a serial killer than a bunch <laughs> of bitches I pick up from a club that are drunk. I oh, can't. yeah. I can so bad. Yeah. I've never seen a serial killer mess up seat covers. <laughs> no. in, in fact, usually quite the opposite. They will <laughs> yeah, leave the campground careful. cleaner than they yeah. found it. They're like Boy Scouts in that yeah. way. Um, well, they like to kill Boy Scouts, but they're like yeah. Boy Scouts in that way as well. Um, okay. Well, I've got a uh, Ryan Gosling themed game that we're going to play real quick. Ooh. Oh boy. Um, this one, there's not really a, a name for this one. So this game does not have a song. It is called uh, <laughs> What Ryan Gosling Movie Is This Ryan Gosling Character From? I was looking up the names <laughs> of his characters and Driver might be the most unique one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, I wonder what his character name and I looked on IMDb Pro I was like, Okay, it's driver. This dude just plays the most generic first named guys mm-hmm. in absolutely everything yeah. that he's ever done. And a lot of them he never even has the last name. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. He plays he's he's just so secretive that this is what he does. Yeah. So I'm gonna say uh the name of the character and then I, either of you can chime in with what I think I've Ryan seen Gosling one Ryan movie. Gosling movie, so this is I know, great. I'm like trying to think of anything yeah, besides <laughs> the notebook. Um, here, I'll read off a bunch of Ryan Gosling movies. Maybe okay. that'll make it easier. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that would be great. What is I it? like that R-Y-A-N. we get to cheat. <laughs> um, here's what it says on Google. Which, if you guys are listening, check this out. Uh, Google. Check out Google. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys listen, google.com slash never seen it. You can get 5% <laughs> off your next search. Uh, the Gray, La La Land, Drive, The Notebook, Barbie, Blade Runner 2094, Remember the Titans, The Big Short, Blue Valentine, The Nice Guys, I've Crazy Stupid Love, The Place Beyond the Pines, First Man. Oh, I've seen that one. Lars and the Real Girl, mm. Half Nelson, The Ides of March. All right, so we're kind of... Okay. Right. I didn't even know some of these were movies. Yeah, same. I mean, even his movie titles all sound like Netflix had an hour to name something. <laughs> <laughs> I think The Gray Man was a Netflix movie. <laughs> the Gray I've, Man. I've never heard of and that. And his name is Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, his name's not even Gray. <laughs> his name's like Tom Man. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Man. <laughs> he's he's named like he's an extra in the movie. <laughs> he is in some of these. Guy in baseball hat. The <laughs> only one he had like a unique name, he played Neil Armstrong. And <laughs> so I don't think he got to pick what? the name. What movie is that? The first man. Oh. Uh, it's okay. Different from the gray man. Sure. It's yes. a sequel. The gray man <laughs> is about when he gets moon dust all over himself <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the set with Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> This whole just becomes a Moon Truther podcast. <laughs> moon Truther would have been in our name. Okay, what movie do you think uh, Ryan Gosling's char- character's full name was Alan? God. Um, First Man. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking for Remember the Titans. Uh, Obviously, he sure. played Alan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what movie was he? Noah. Oh, oh that's, that's the, the notebook. notebook. The Notebook. There we go. What movie was he? Dan Dunn. <laughs> this character's named Dan <laughs> Dunn. I've already forgotten the other I know. movies. The we're, Big Short? Uh, we're looking for Half Nelson, oh. which is oh. a pretty good movie. And I've never seen it. Is it uh, a wrestling movie? No, it is about, I think he like saves inner city kids or something. How uh, is it fucking called Half Nelson? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> His name's not even fucking Nelson in the movie. <laughs> Go All up. of the titles have names <laughs> in them. It's a wrestling move. All right, what movie was he named Driver? <laughs> that one's on Baby the list. Driver. <laughs> this, the prequel to Driver, uh, starring Alec Boss Baldwin Driver. as Boss Baby in Baby Boss Baby Driver. Uh, what movie was he Jake? Full character name. Uh, Place Beyond the Pines? Mm, crazy Stupid Love. Oh, oh. Damn. How about if you tell me one and you're wrong, I'll tell you what the character's name is in that one. We'll just keep a little chain okay. going here and have some fun. Dean. <laughs> he doesn't have any names. Jesus. I don't remember the any big of them. The... Uh, no, the big Short? No, in the Big Short, he was named Greg. <laughs> Greg? Okay, yeah. Wow. Sure. Uh, Steven. I already forgot the other movie. Well, Friday Night Lights? He's not in Friday Night Lights. <laughs> so we're going to get to skip ones here. In Place Beyond the Pines, he was named Luke. In La La Land, he was named Sebastian, I which is kind of like something. Yeah. In Blade Runner, he was named the letter K. Uh, <laughs> we, just, 
They were like, we don't even have time. It's in short song, for in yeah. song to song, he was named B V, capital B, capital V. Gross. You gotta at least give us words. In the Gray Man, his name was Six S I X, not this the is, number. How is he? <laughs> His name is the number six, spelled out. Is he just picking roles based on the names? And then the only the only appropriate name he had in anything is in the Barbie movie, uh, which is Ken. a proper yeah. name, Ken. I mean, yeah, yeah. Ken and Neil Armstrong, yeah. <laughs> the two biopics he tackled. America's two most proud men. <laughs> America's two fakest liars. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Wait, did you guys know... Fuck, was it There's Australia? There's no way. There's no way I know what you're about to say. <laughs> like, I guarantee you, you're already talking about a country was, I've never I, heard of. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost certain this was Australia, and there's a documentary about it where they couldn't get the footage of the moon landing, so they just made up their own footage and aired it as <laughs> oh though it was God. the footage That's of the so moon funny. landing. <laughs> and, but, like, put it on the news. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> like, someone's watching, like, is that Phil? <laughs> is Phil on the moon? <laughs> Like a gaffer <laughs> is just sort of like just off screen. Are those Nikes? Are that guy wearing chucks? In one shot. <laughs> one kangaroo is on the moon. Ridiculous. Is that, it's is that a stingray? <laughs> we should get that stingray off of the moon. I just don't uh, stop rolling, no matter what happens a on the moon landing. Feel. <laughs> <Don't stop. laughs> on the moon, and you're Neil Armstrong talking to Buzz Aldrin. You go, don't stop rolling. <laughs> Buzz, get this. <laughs> Yeah, man, we brought him film for the moon. Are you shooting in 4K? <laughs> He's like, plug in the ring light. Oh, uh, man, I love, love Norm's joke about Michael Collins, who's the guy who oh, went God, to the moon and didn't get to didn't go to the moon. To, what a fucking ripoff. And off. it's the funny, I think it's the funniest joke. He's, I'm par- paraphrasing, it's from Norm's special on Netflix, and his Norm alive, his alive in special. Norm guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's from Norm from Cheers from special from Netflix. Um, you don't own it if you start. Nah, <laughs> Norm's like Michael Collins went all the way to the moon and didn't go to the moon, and so he's just up there in the capsule, and he's like, "Are they fucking golfing?" Like he's like <laughs> looking down on them at the moon. He's like, "Did we bring a fucking dune buggy and I can't go?" <laughs> <laughs> and then Buzz and Neil have to pretend it wasn't awesome. Like when they get back, they're like, it's whatever. I like Earth. <laughs> what I can't understand. I mean, whatever. I'm not a fucking scientist. Why Why weren't they like, all right, dude, we've been out there for 20 Take minutes. A Let's shift. swap. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can know, touch the moon. You know Michael Collins is in a meeting and he's like, I have an idea for like the schedule. <laughs> And he's the only one nobody's no one can remember his name. I'll even bring back some of the rocks. Yeah. I'll do the rocks thing. Yeah. He's like, shit, I'll put all the equipment back in. Let me be the bitch. How yeah. wild would have been if they did die on the and then Michael Collins like there's like a monster or something, and Michael Collins just like He's just like <laughs> He just shuts the door really slowly. He's like I hope they weren't rolling. <laughs> Man, what a selfless. This is I a think- big step for mankind. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he ever actually got to go to the moon. Right? That would seem fair that he eventually gets to. Although like then he's got to go yeah. and see dune buggy tracks. <laughs> and he's just there to like collect yeah, sand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't, I think Neil Armstrong was also the youngest of the three. Or like the least experienced of the three. They, I believe. Listen, I don't know shit from shit. So don't. He, uh, don't, I don't know. The little bit that I know about the moon landing is the little bit that I know about the moon, uh, about the landing is that it was also very personality driven because they knew they were going to be the most famous people in the world. Oh, yeah. And so when they're deciding oh, between all of these people, like not just the three of them, and if you watch First Man, you see a little bit of this, they're deciding who gets to go out of all of these qualified astronauts. Well, Neil Armstrong is, you know, quiet but good on camera, mm-hmm. Eagle Scout, American, mm-hmm. clean cut. And then Buzz Aldrin is like mavericky, mm-hmm. cool, kind of like a good dichotomy between the two of them. And mm-hmm. so it just came down to like, imagine you're just like not a chill astronaut, so you don't get to go because your <laughs> yeah. personality doesn't, your sure vibes are off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the president of the United States is telling you your vibes are you're off. You're not camera friendly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like if I, you have a mole, so you don't get to yeah. go to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you are the most qualified. Oh, man. <laughs> I think you pretty much... I like drive. <laughs> I want to put the sound. I'm not gonna put sound on and get it. Um, all right, I feel pretty good. We got another game that we're gonna play real quick. This game is called Build the Perfect Movie. Ooh. Okay. Mm. 
though the perfect movie. We actually have two iterations of this game today, including a brand new one we've never done. But this game is called Build the Perfect Movie. How it works is I will give you a category. You have to pick two movies from that category whose Rotten Tomatoes score adds up to as close to 100 as possible without going over. So you pick two movies, you hope your score adds up to 100, but okay. you can't go over. Okay. You'll each pick one, then we'll review the scores, and then you'll each pick your second one. You so really have a lot of faith that I know a lot of movies. <laughs> you don't even have to know them. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> different categories. Uh, well, we'll be vague. The category is, uh, we're talking about, let's see, Drive, Ryan Gosling. A movie with a good-looking dude in it. Mm. That's the category. And you can, you know, that's an opinion-based thing. So pretty much just a movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll pick, uh, uh, at least you'll pick one, then Bailey will pick one, and then we will review the scores. And I'm going to get a little uh, background noise okay i'm going with um just friends with ryan reynolds because he's like the hottest guy on earth oh yeah <clears throat> at the yeah. time this movie came out or now now because <laughs> back then he, this was like a faux hawk situation for sure oh i don't care I, he could get it he could get it in the fat suit i don't give a fuck <laughs> oh, oh he wasn't a fat suit in this movie wasn't he, was. he oh man all right bailey first movie I'm horrified. The only thing I can think of is Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear something cool about Paul Hogan? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Before he got Crocodile Dundee, he wasn't an actor. He was like painting or building bridges or something. And really? He was like, dude, you're you're like cool and you're funny and whatever. And he just got pulled for the movie. And now... He's a legend. <laughs> it's similar to now where if you want to be in a movie, you have to have a lot of TikTok followers. <laughs> very similar. Yeah. Very similar. It's a very similar path to fame I, these I days. I would say I respect b bridge building a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, our first movie's here. Just Friends is a 42%. Oh, okay. So you have to get a 58 or less okay. to stay qualified. You want as close to 100 as possible. Crocodile Dundee, 89%. Oh, so right. you need a movie with an attractive oh, guy right. that's 11 or less. Lisa, you'll pick first because right. you have the most to make up here. <laughs> okay, fuck. I don't think I could do it. Oh, another, it's the same thing. Another same thing category. with a, an attractive man in it. Oh, no. Why can't I think of any movies? It's almost not specific enough of a category. I can't think of any men I'm attracted to. <laughs> oh, what about? Oh, no. <laughs> but he's going to be like, uh, do the cars and cars count? <laughs> well, I'm thinking like. Well, the, does the tow truck from cars count as a guy? <laughs> Mater. I'm putting this hat on. I'm like, well, now what's like 50%? Right. You're looking for a 58. Ooh, the hat helped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What about, um, oh, you know what? Creed 2. Because that, because Michael B. Jordan, son of a bitch. Michael B. Sexy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm cornering him at a party know. saying, have you ever heard that before? <laughs> He's like, this I'm isn't a party. I'm cornering him at a party, too. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were selling Girl Scout cookies. Uh, okay. And Bailey, your second movie, you're looking for an 11. Okay. Or less. Just think of the worst movie and then think if anyone was hot in it. I bet there was a joke about a hot guy in it. Okay, here we go. This is my this is my pick. Uh, the the remake <laughs> the remake of Annie with Daddy Warbucks. Whoever that is. That is that the actor's name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's just yeah. it's Jamie Foxx, I think, isn't it? Uh -oh. No, not that one. Not that remake. <laughs> not that now it remake. sounds like you don't think Jamie Foxx is <laughs> no, attractive. No, Jamie Foxx is very hot. Jamie Foxx. No, fuck it. it. Yeah, do that one. Do that one. Do that one. The list of guys that can get it is actually a little long. <laughs> 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 All right. Just Friends is a 42%. Creed 2 is an 83. Whoa. Way over. Oh, Everyone yeah. liked Creed 2. Damn. Whoa. They um, must have seen him. Creed also. Mm. <laughs> Creed also. <laughs> Crocodile Dundee is an 89. The Annie remake with Jamie Foxx is a 28. So you're also over. Fuck. No winners. I win. <laughs> I think we're about, oh we're probably like at the same, I, it sounds like. Yeah. Pretty close. Well, damn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, we're going to do another round. Okay. Mm -hmm. That same game. That was very vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> vulnerable. I hope they listen. Come and get it. <laughs> Jamie Foxx hits me. I don't, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Jamie Foxx can hit me. Uh, I don't want <laughs> you to have to be vulnerable. Fine. The next category is <laughs> movies that make you cry. Um, oh, God. No, I, I guess that's a little vulnerable. We'll just do <laughs> comedies. Lord. Okay, I was going to say, movies, what, pick movies that don't make you cry. I cried between, candles, for the, fuck's sake. The overlap between movies with hot men and movies that make me cry is fairly close to a circle. <laughs> oh, uh, Saving Private Ryan, yeah. filled with hot men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Um. So we're going to do comedy. We'll do that. We'll try and get a winner here. 
You're trying to build the perfect comedy. Bailey, you'll pick first on this one. With Hot Man, though? Or it no? can be if you want it to okay. be. Or just yeah, any I do. comedy. Um, All right. I'm, I'm going to go super bad. Oh, um, I'm going to go um, Dr. Strange Love. No one really hot in there, but. <laughs> okay. But Peter Sellers could uh, have gotten it. I mean, like, let's be honest. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Super bad is an 88%. So you'll need a Great. 12 or less. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why did I pick one that is... No, no, no. Really you'll like. be fine. You'll be fine. Doing? Dr. Strangelove is a 98%. So <laughs> <laughs> you need a movie that is 0, 1, or 2%. There's probably about 50 of them. Okay. Uh, um, and then, honestly, any movie that's that low of a percentage is funny. So you can pick any mo- okay. any movie. It doesn't have to be a comedy. Okay. Uh, Bailey, you have to go first. Wait, wait. Uh, what? Makeup. You need 12. 12%? Or less. And it has to be a comedy? Yes. Can it be... Not intended to be a comedy, sure. but is a comedy. Yes. Wait, fuck. No, I'm cheating. Um, Hold on. Yeah, you I... wouldn't want to remove the integrity from this show. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can never think of movies yeah. as soon as I'm supposed to. Let's go. Let's go the room. Okay. Or oh, room. Also score. very funny. <laughs> room is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am going with... Uh, loose change, the 9-11 truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow, wow. Audience score? Because the audience had some stuff to say about it. I'm sure they, uh, right, a here lot we go. of people in my family did. <laughs> Super bad is an 88%. The room is a 26%. Damn. You love 26% I for love your second week. I love 26, yeah. So you are over. Dr. Strangles is a 98%. Loose change is a zero. So you <laughs> have... <laughs> Uh, Lisa. I don't know how uh, I did it. <laughs> well, I do. You went to flight school. You learned... <laughs> You know, you actually had Americans fund you with weapons decades <laughs> yeah. earlier and then pretend they didn't. Um, thanks, Biden. I actually have little uh, Ronald Reagan pointing at it. It says, I did that stickers, and I stick love them it. on the memorial in New York. I love it. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, but Reagan killed way more people than 9-11. I think we can all agree yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Over time, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, what are we looking at? Ready to go to break? All right, we're going to go to break. Oh, fuck, it wouldn't be this podcast if I didn't connect 9 11 to Reagan (laughs) through Peter Sellers. I am so happy that was a zero. I don't know why I did that. Some of it is, I bet the, uh, um, I bet the audience reviews of it are incredible. Oh, yeah. It's just called Loose Change 9 11. <laughs> um, oh, they didn't let people write reviews. You're only allowed to rank it. You weren't allowed to write. Oh, here we go. All right, we're back. Uh, I'm going to read some of the audience reviews for <laughs> Loose Change before we get into our other games. Sorry, I make everything a mess. <laughs> Common sense tells you buildings don't fall like that. Who's First off, okay, this guy reviewed Loose Change on September 11th of this year. <laughs> DuVernay <laughs> went back and said, very enlightening, like Ava Jesse DuVernay? Ventura. Oh. <laughs> Ava DuVernay is on here. <laughs> She's like, if you think the uh, criminal justice system in America is shitty, wait until you hear about how buildings can't implode. Yeah. Um, very enlightening, like Jesse Ventura. Okay. What? Two, this is the what funniest. The funniest person is the person who gives this uh, two and a half stars, okay. <laughs> who watches Loose Change and then has no strong feelings about it. <laughs> they watch all of Loose Change and they're like, I just thought the directing was a little skittish. Yeah. They said, a disappointing final edition could have been so much better and perhaps Wait, someday did we will miss be. the prequel? Or I don't know. <laughs> the director's cut is like longer. Final edition? <laughs> Uh, there's here's this review, and the entire government needs to be arrested. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I agree with four that. stars, oh, wow. yeah. not I mean, five stars. That's not. Uh, I don't. Disagree with <laughs> yeah, they're I'm not a, wrong. I'm a big fan of uh, the two and a half to three star reviews of something so insane <laughs> yeah. that yeah. it just is. It's insane. The it is insane to watch this and be like. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, like, like rating the Holocaust. If you don't watch this, yeah, exactly. It's like you go to fine. you go to Auschwitz and you're just like, I don't know. 
two yeah. stars. The lines were long. Uh, interesting perspective. Not sure I... Ooh, here's a super reviewer. Unproven theory. The government has not seen this movie probably. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think that there's a problem right. and it's the internet. And I think that you should have to... You, it, we shouldn't have it anymore. I feel like yeah. there's microwaves coming out of the internet that's zapping all of our brains. Yeah. I. <laughs> uh, it is just absolutely... You like to think everyone's progressing forever and that idiocracy is, you know, we wouldn't end up like that. Yeah. But it's absolutely... In, everyone shouldn't... I know everyone's like, everyone should... Everyone shouldn't have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> mm, agree. Maybe you can yeah. have a voice, but like... Should I really be able to tweet at the president of the United States? No, no not if you're not going to city council meetings. No. You got to start. It's, you can't go right to the top. It's absolutely insane. I should have to at least have like a state rep like one of my tweet replies. <laughs> and then you can like move up and I'm allowed to like tweet harass Josh Hawley a yeah. little bit. And then once he acknowledges one. I, I will say I think we should be able to beat Josh Hawley in the street. Oh, like, so oh yeah. Well, that's completely unrelated. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. we should run. I think we should, Josh Hawley should get ran over with the car. Worst yeah. politician in the I entire country. a lot country. of bad things should happen to him. He's he, the worst. He He's one of the people who, who would watch, watch Loose Change and say the editing uh, threw it off a little bit. Yeah. The musical <laughs> choices were a little questionable. Mm. Um, wow. He feels like a guy who got his whole person. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Glad we came back from break. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, here we go. We're going to play a game. This is actually an extension, a new attempt here of a Build the Perfect Movie game. Build a perfect movie. This is Build the Box Office Perfect Movie. So you have to pick three movies whose box office total adds up to as close to $1 billion mm, as possible. Movie numbers. Oh, yeah. Holy no, I, I don't know any of them either. That's why I don't play the games. Without um, going over? Without going over. No categories, no nothing. Three movies, box office close to a billion. Um, you could even work together if you want, and you don't have to compete. Uh, no, I'm competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey was about to say we should I'm work like, together. No, that's great for me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, me too. I love to compete. <laughs> um... <laughs> Shit, I don't know any movies uh, anymore. Man, um, I had some really great ones to share with you, but <laughs> <laughs> Bailey's like, I know a, th I know a, th a trilogy that got three hundred thirty-three million dollars each, but oh wait, so you each pick one. I'll give you your number, and mm -hmm. then you can pick okay. your next ones accordingly. We got to do three. All right, who goes first? You can. You're very competitive. I don't <laughs> want you to not have a competitive edge. Titanic. Four um. billion. <laughs> It might be over a billion, honestly. Money was different then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bailey? Um, I'm going to go Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> the, the words got more and more obscure as it went along. I was like, Part 1? Isn't there like nine movies, but they're all just Harry Potter? Yeah. <laughs> there are nine, and one of them is two. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. No, no, no. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Uh, Titanic is $2.2 .2 billion, so at least you've been eliminated after Whoops. one. Uh, <laughs> Bailey, Harry Potter is $977 million, so can we pick two oh, movies? Now you can work together right. to try okay. and get under this. Okay. Two movies with that total <laughs> gross so, yeah, so is under $23 million dollars under 23 million yeah <laughs> we gotta go student film here <laughs> yeah right i don't know I'm trying to think what of, like, bond weird... bros yeah. that hasn't been doing good <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's throw bros in there <laughs> listen i haven't seen a movie since the last time somebody took me out and paid for it okay so. <laughs> bros <laughs> bros is 9.5 million bros is 9.5 million so now okay. you're at 900 86.5 million. Can we get one more movie that is under 13.5? What other comedians tried to make a movie? <laughs> <laughs> what, what other comedians got creative control? His, his Tony Hinchcliffe made a movie. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Uh, She's, I thought Bailey said comedians. Uh, oh, yeah, um, she did. And then, okay. mm -hmm. and then I thought, well, I'll name names. <laughs> um... What a what a get this would be to be get underneath this. I think we can do it. Wait, where where are we you total right now? You need thirteen point five million or less. You're at nine hundred eighty six and a half. Okay, we can totally do that. Oh, someone actually just bought a ticket to Bros, so now you need. 
when you have a tracker. <laughs> Let's wait a second, see if they return it. <laughs> wait, wait, J.K. Rowling just got canceled. Some people returned their DVDs of The Deathly Hallows Part 1, so it's going back down. It's constantly fluctuating. Could there be two two movies where I feel differently, more differently about the creators of them? Between Bros and Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 1. <laughs> I love Billy Eichner. I would love to yeah. hang out with him. Oh, and yeah, I yeah. want absolutely nothing to do with J.K. Rowling yeah, yeah. as a human being. Yeah. I'll pretty much hang out with anyone with money, but that's <laughs> for another day. <laughs> uh, all right. For the giantest win in the history of this show, under 13 and a half million. Oh, I didn't do well. I feel like I only hear about ones that do well. I know. I don't even hear about them. <laughs> I know. I feel like it's a miracle if I can think of a movie at all. What about like you can even go to the, <laughs> the uh, gallery if you want Does to. Does it have to be oh, wide yeah? release? No. Oh, what about like... What went straight to DVD? It has to be like a big enough thing to have a, a box office listed on. Oh. What about... Uh, oh. Don't Worry Darling. What about that one? I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's yeah, like let's the... let's say that one. Yeah, let's go Don't Don't Worry Darling. Oh, that one is like where people oh. are in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, the one that one. people are in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow, yeah, you do know. even for this podcast, <laughs> you lack details. <laughs> <laughs> you were closer with your script for Drive than you were the description of Don't Worry Darling. <laughs> I just remember, was it like people we know or something? <laughs> like, it's like the Harry Florence Styles Pugh. and Florence like, Pugh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're friends with either of them. <laughs> they don't seem accessible. Why did I think like comics were in it? <laughs> oh no, they. I think Nick Wait. Kroll is in it. I think. Okay, that's somebody. Right? I don't I know. Saw, yeah, because he posted a really funny video. Because this yeah. movie had so much yeah. press. Insane. He posted a really funny video that was that when you arrive at the Don't Worry Darling premiere and you're not either of the stars, <laughs> and it was him getting out of his limo and everyone just not giving, like being so disappointed. <laughs> Um, you well, know here's here's my concern with that though. I feel like people did go see it because there was so much hype. If about Harry it being Styles bad. is in a movie, I think he's going to drive at least fifteen million dollars in box office sales. Even oh, though I don't yeah. think he's very good at acting. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's not the move. What about my free solo? That was an indie movie, right? The oh yeah, but I, it's one? so. I did see that one. It's so like well received. I think, but I don't know that's if people true. saw it. Yeah, I don't know if it was released outside of major cities. Was it? Coastal elites. Or what about the Anthony Bourdain movie? Hmm. It wasn't great. Are you talking about Ratatouille? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, you're talking about uh, Roadrunner, a film about Anthony Bourdain? Yeah. It wasn't very well put together. Um, you want to do that? He's great. Yeah, he is great. Yeah. I, don't, I yeah, let's say that. Yeah, he's not gonna listen to this. He never does. Um, <laughs> oh, it came out on. Oh, I forgot. He can he, still get it. Just also. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was reading and my birthday was on here and I got excited and I forgot that was the day he killed himself. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you're upset. It was my thirtieth birthday. Uh, <laughs> that well, that, you got what you wanted. Yeah. So. Uh, so we need under thirteen and a half million dollars. Titanic nine seventy seven. Uh, or I'm sorry, Harry Potter nine seventy seven. What was the second movie that you put on here? Bros. <laughs> Bros was 9.5. Anthony Bourdain, five and a half million Ooh, dollars. Yeah. We did it. That's we a successful it. box office yes. movie. Exactly one billion dollars. Congratulations. Wow. Okay. wow. Um, <laughs> I was actually, this is, I, I was performing at Bonnaroo on my 30th birthday, and I was rooming with Shane Torres, who has that very famous joke about Guy Fieri uh, that went like super viral yeah. right before this. And then the tagline is, because it's all about why are people mean to Guy Fieri. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then what the tagline is him like, meanwhile, Anthony Bourdain looks like the kind of guy who'd be mean to dogs. <laughs> That's like the end of the joke. Mm-hmm. And that morning, I wake up, it's my birthday, and I have like all these text messages. And Shane woke up to so many more text messages. <laughs> this is the psychopath's comedian out there that was said, sorry you can't do the tag to your joke anymore. <laughs> That's like the psycho energy that comedians bring. Some of the We're same insane. people insane. texted Shane first and then me happy birthday. <laughs> um, and then he's instinctively that night doing stand up, he accidentally, I don't know, but he did it and he did the tag because uh-huh. he's done that joke probably more than any other joke he's done. Yeah. And he says it and everyone's like, oh, you know, it's sad. And then he goes, oh, what is it? Is it too soon just because it is? <laughs> 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 You're going to be mad at me just for a good reason. 
Uh, okay, we have one more game we're going to play. One and a half more games. We have two more games we're going to play, and then we're out of here. Did we go to two breaks already? We did. This game is called before, and, before afters. and Afters. How this game works is two movies have been smashed together into one movie. I will read you the smashed together plot. You have to guess the smashed together title. So, Good for luck. instance, <laughs> yeah, well, so you can work together. Uh, um, Saving Private Silverman. There's two movies smashed together. Mm -hmm. uh, the Wolf of Wally Street. Uh, there's oh. two movies smashed together. That sort of thing, right? So I'll read you these. These were written by uh, Brand, PD, Skazzles, Aaron, and Moist, who are listeners who wrote these on the Discord for you our guys podcast. Come on um, now with those <laughs> names. <laughs> yeah, after reading Ryan Gosling's character names, I'm actually super happy with Skazzles <laughs> and Moist <laughs> <laughs> as options instead of 8K and the number six. Um, all right, here we go. Our first one, here's the plot. You tell me the Smash Together title. A promising young soprano becomes the obsession of a figure lurking in the opera house where she works, who she eventually discovers is being piloted by a gifted rat. Oh, the Phantom of the Operatatui. Yeah. Yeah. Phantom of yes. the Operatatui. <laughs> oh, you were putting them together as a t I was yeah. just going to say them separate. <laughs> <laughs> if you say them separate, we can put them together. Um, all right, they get harder than that. I think. That's what she said. I'm not sure. <laughs> I hit it. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't stop myself. Oh, you're going to drag Tony like Hinchcliffe Roger into this. It's like Rabbit in the fucking... I know. <laughs> Number two. Two low-level ass... Two Two low-level astronomers. I almost said assholes. Sure, same thing. <laughs> two fucking low-level <laughs> libtard assholes stare at the sky. Uh, two low-level astronomers go on a media tour to warn mankind of an incoming comet. And on their tour, they return to Neverland, seeing the friends and fairy they abandoned there as a child. Ooh, this is uh, Don't Look Up and Michael Jackson. <laughs> Close. Don't, don't look up Michael Jackson. <laughs> I, the, the Michael Jackson movie should have been called Don't Beat It. Uh, <laughs> wait, for sure, don't look up. Yeah. And then. Wait, can you read, can you read it I'll again? Read it, yes. Uh, I'll read the second half. Yeah, please. And on their tour, they returned to Neverland, seeing the friends and fairy they abandoned there oh. as a child. Yeah, Peter Pan. Yeah. But, don't but look I don't at think. Peter I think Pan? Is Don't it? look into your Peter. <laughs> yeah, we're just naming the Michael Jackson documentary over and over again. <laughs> Don't pan to your Peter. Is it That's... Return to Neverland? Oh Is it... yeah, wait, no, Hook. Hook. Don't, Don't look, look, Hook. Hook. Don't, Don't hook. hook up. Don't hook up is hey. the name. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hook up. Also, a name for. God, I can't believe I've lost Wheel of Fortune without even being on. <laughs> uh, here we go. Next one. A man's discovery of an obscure. A man's discovery of an obscure book about a number descends him into darkness and obsession as he puts up a few giant signs criticizing police for not working harder to solve his daughter's murder. Oh, you know what? Somehow I do know these, I think. Um, but you can put them together because you're good at that. <laughs> I think, okay, I think the number 23 and a bunch of billboards outside of Bisbee or something. How many billboards <laughs> would you say it probably Three is? <laughs> If you had to guess based on the title of the other movie. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was, I don't know, oh, 23 the number billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri? The number 23 is? billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Oh, God. Nice. I was so glad. <laughs> the number 23 has a more accurate portrayal of human beings than three billboards outside <laughs> so Ebbing, true. Missouri. This is the worst movie I've ever Both seen. Both of them are horrible movies. The only yes. thing that's good between the two of them is Frances McDormand. That mm -hmm. is, yes. Yeah. She's honestly the only good part of a lot of movies I don't like. Oh, yeah. yeah um, and a lot of movies I love. I would love to. If she's she was somebody here. I would like faint if I met her. I don't, <laughs> think I, could, I don't think I could act right. Yeah. But that's okay because she's so good at acting yeah. for both yeah. of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go. Uh, these last two are two of the stupidest ones that have ever existed. <laughs> a reporter from Kazakhstan. <laughs> oh, boy upon traveling to America, is torn from his young lover by a lie constructed by his jealous younger sister. But the couple crosses paths again during World War II. For sure, Borat. Yeah, I don't know the second one, though. There's also two movies I really like. During World War II? Is torn from his young lover by a lie constructed by his jealous younger sister. That's almost the notebook, right? Wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I don't think I know that. I don't think I know it. I don't know. We're looking for Boratonement. Oh. oh Boratonement. Yeah, Borat yeah, yeah. and Atonement is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, final now one. Now I know for sure I don't want to see Atonement. Final <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> um, a shepherding swine travels to demonstrate his herding abilities in a city haunted by a shape-shifting evil that has taken the shape of a clown. Well, that one's Fern Gully. Is it Babe? <laughs> Two pig in the city plus... <laughs> um, a shepherding swine shepherd. travels to demonstrate his herding abilities in a city haunted by a shape-shifting evil that has taken the shape of a clown to torture kids. It's taken the shape of a clown. Babe to it in the city. <laughs> <laughs> We're close. You're very close. Yeah. There's a stupider way to combine Babe them. It? Babe it. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite uh, politicians. <laughs> oh my! Wait, is it Babe to pig in the sit? Babe to pig in e? the itty is what itty. Oh my god! Oh Fuck my off, god. moist. <laughs> <laughs> that one was actually me. Oh uh, that one was Kyle oh here. <laughs> Babe to oh pig in the god. itty. I didn't know. Bitty city wow. committee. I it was just, I didn't know he was a shapeshifter. I thought he was just a clown. No, yeah, he's some, yeah. he's like a monster, and the clown is what scares the kids. Oh. I saw, and now we're pretty much done, Bill Hader isn't, so it the, it came out, and they had the two parts when they're younger and older, and uh, they're both pretty good. Mm-hmm. And Bill Hader is the older version in one of the movies, and they cast him because, I forget who they'd cast as the younger version of him, mm-hmm. was like, I like Bill Hader, put him in it, and they go, okay. How insane is that? Like, (laughs) that child had that much power that they were like, yes, Stefan can be in it. (laughs) He got to pick that. That's crazy. Bill Hader is is just, what a wild career. (laughs) He Um, has the best career. He has the best. Barry is very funny and and very good and insane. Mm -hmm. I love that show. Yeah. Uh, Well, hey, that's it for us. On Never Seen It. Lisa, thank you for having Never Seen Drive. Uh, Let everyone know what you have going on, where to find you, all sorts of things. You can listen to my podcast, Long Story Long, on Sirius XM every Thursday at noon and 8 p.m. Eastern. And please follow me on Instagram. For the love of God, I am told I need (laughs) a bigger Instagram presence if I want to continue working in this motherfucking city. So follow me on Instagram at Olympian Lisa Curry. Good stuff on there. Great. Bailey, thank you for being here and having seen Drive. My pleasure. Uh, I'm on all socials at Bailey E. Norton, and you can listen to my podcast, Hot Topic with Pickle and Bailey, (laughs) anywhere you get podcasts. Great. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Yeah. I've never seen it.